Jacob Lawrence was one of many great artists during the Harlem Renaissance era. He provided his own style of art to the scene called Dynamic Cubism. Jacob Lawrence is most widely known for The Migration of the Negro, an epic narrative series of 60 paintings that he completed in 1941 at the age of 24. At the age of 13, Jacob, along with his mother and sister, moved to New York City, where he was enrolled in classes at the Arts and Crafts Settlement House in Harlem. Due to his talent, Jacob Lynch received a scholarship to the American Artist School with a paid position with Work Progress Administration. Lawrence enlisted in the U.S. Coast Guard during World War II, serving with the first racially integrated crew, and still sketched and painted while in the Guard. During the 1940s, Jacob Lawrence was also given his own solo exhibition at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Lawrence also became an art professor at the University of Washington. In 1941, Lawrence married Gwendolyn Knight, who was also an artist, which he had met as a teenager in Harlem. Lawrence's wife, Gwendolyn Knight, who was a respected sculptor and painter, became one of his biggest critics. However, she was also his biggest fan. Not only did she offer critique, she also helped prepare his paintings and helped him write captions that accompanied many of the series. His art depicted the struggles of African Americans. Lawrence even painted the lives of Frederick Douglass, Harriet Tubman, and John Brown. In 1970, Lawrence was honored as an artist, teacher, and humanitarian when awarded the NAACP Spring Guard Medal. Lawrence is quoted to say, If I have achieved a degree of success as a creative artist, it is mainly due to the black experience which is our heritage. Lawrence also received the National Medal of Arts from President George Bush. Jacob Lawrence was one of the few who were able to be the original in the Harlem Renaissance era. He had his own approach to art. He converted a simple street scene into a masterpiece, which hangs in museums all over the country. Without works of art from Jacob Lawrence, we would be blinded to other forms of art that are possible. Even from a young age, Lawrence was a natural born artist. Over the years, he was able to create beautiful works of art and receive numerous awards for his masterpieces. He was truly a talented man who left his legacy on the blue sand in Thailand.